down here. Okay, nice little jump at the beginning. Uh, the, uh, okay, so I've got it back up, got it ready to boot. Uh, top one, the hard, it matched the hard drive, is 30 gigabyte that I'm going to install on ST. Uh, 32 so and so so and so is the Seagate uh, that ha had my old XP system but it has all my phone files and all that. I booted up to that while I was waiting on that file to copy over. I booted, I mean, I booted up to, uh, on Saturday to Fedora 23 security uh, live ISO and it uh, got a lot of files in there. I'll have to fish through to delete what I want and keep what I want because it's all throughout that Windows system. But uh, I, started, I started to do it, and then I thought, no, I'll wait and make sure that uh, this is all going to work. So, uh, but I don't really want to, I got to thinking, you know, I probably ought to do that before I install Windows on here, just to be on the safe side. Well, I'm fixing to try it, though, aren't I? I don't think it's dangerous, since it's on another hard drive. But, uh, anyway, let's try booting to it. <coughs> and since I really think I have it clean, too, so. Okay. For a minute, I thought it was already going in there, but then I realized. Yeah, see, that says Windows Boot Menu. That's the one where I have Hiren's Windows Install Menu. It's where I have my install ISOs. But in the actual S SD card, it is uh, Win. That's when, and this one is Windows, and that's it. So I keep getting confused. It try, it's easy to confuse an old man, you know. You don't got to try very hard. Okay, so, uh, seven professional, professional, professional. Very bottom one. Okay, and they, they, the way I have it ordered on my file managers, it's the opposite. Uh, but that's because it's the way I do it. Okay, boot you. Hit zero. No way the not gonna work. Okay. Well I'm not trying this anymore. Press any key to continue. I bet you the 32-bit will will just boot like like a charm. I just want to make sure. But so, <coughs> what I'm gonna do? I'm getting so fed up with all this. I'm just about ready to just install Fedora 24 and say forget it. But um, because I yeah I think I checked the other day and my laptop will run. 64 bit too, so I could put. Uh, oh, wait, if you don't have a. I think you have to have the 64 bit license, though. I kind of. Wait a minute, I think it is 64 bit. I think that Windows. It's Windows. Um, which one is Pro? One of them is Pro. Oh, I think the Pro is my Lenovo i5. And it's 64 bit, so I could, yeah, that's probably why I had that. My, uh, that one got infected too, that's probably why I had that on there to start with. I could use that one to do that with. Yeah, that could work out because if I end up, uh, sooner, one day I'm going to have to buy a bigger hard drive, a, like a really big one. And, uh, <coughs> or else I can't make any more videos. Okay, so it all looks good there. But, uh, yeah, I could do it in there. My laptop, uh, well, if I bought that, I was thinking about buying a 5 terabyte Seagate hard drive. That's the only ones that's really affordable. And the only problem I see people saying they have is their, their USB hard drives. But what they really are is laptop hard drives in a USB case. And uh, they say they overheat, and that's when sometimes they'll fail even. And that scares me, but they, overall they have, like, there's, it's you know, everything these days. There's no quality control, you know, and um, so you know they have like four stars or something like that on Amazon, and uh, you start reading on what goes wrong, and you find out well sometimes they actually fail. So, uh, but people keep saying it's the heat. I've taken mine out and put it, you know, just leaving it out or.
put it in the machine uh, and then it uh, doesn't overheat and it works great. Of course they've only used them maybe six months a year or something like that. But uh, And I've got hard drives from the 90s that still run great. They're just tiny, you know. But uh, anyway, I could put it in the Lenovo i5 because that's what it has in it. Uh, so it would fit right in there just fine, you know, right in this little slot. Of course it doesn't matter. Uh, a laptop part drive will go into pretty much any machine. Just that the bigger hard drives won't go in the laptop. So then anyway, I could take that 250 gigabyte hard drive out of Lenovo and put it in a laptop that I have that don't have a hard drive. Or put it in my Dell 1525 laptop and take its smaller hard drive and put it in that other older laptop. Actually, they're about the same age, but the other one doesn't have it's an Acer and it doesn't have a... It also has a broken screen, broken display screen. So anyway, going off talking about that. Uh, I'm going to hit next just to see, I do what, it says required driver CD, the same old problem that I've been having, and I have my little USB helper stick in there, so why in the world and what's going on with all this, and I guarantee you, maybe I didn't go this far and I never saw it, I don't know, I can't guarantee because I can't remember, I just don't remember things well enough. And what I've done over and over is put, I put in my driver CD because you know I saw that okay well I got a driver CD that came with this motherboard put it in there it doesn't do a thing so uh, <coughs> maybe I'm gonna I was, I was uh, my other option that I didn't get to was maybe I'll burn this uh, home premium 64-bit to a DVD and just try to you know and just install it that way. But all that junk I was going around and around with, you know, I really don't even know for sure. Let's see, what machine am I on again? Oh, I kind of have having this machine, the, the DVD that I have, I kind of have, uh, let me grab it. Explain why I'm crazy. Well, I'm not crazy, I just can't remember things. Okay, so maybe I'm crazy and I can't remember things. So, I'm trying to get it out with my other hand here. Oh, let me, uh, I'm going to put this up on the, over here on the desk. Yeah, make it crazy. Okay, now there it is on the screen, but I'm just going to hold these things up. So this is my Windows 7 upgrade kit. And uh, it came with the e machines driver, which won't work because that motherboard's bad. And it came with the Microsoft Windows 7 upgrade, but you can install from it too, but it's 32 bit. So, yep. So I don't, I kind of think my license, I can't really remember, I guess I, I need to go, I've got all that stuff saved that I can find it again. All the information, you know, about what's what and what licenses will go with what. I may not even be allowed to install the 64. <coughs> and I have my complete, that's pretty cool, a complete book manual that came with my ASRock motherboard. And I won't take it out. It's no big deal. AS Rock Driver DVD. I'm going to put it in there. Because I want to get to the bottom. I went through all that trouble. I got it in there. I'm going to hit browse. Okay, it came up with my. Yeah, okay. Let me bring this back over here. I went to all that trouble, and, um, uh, yeah, okay, now it's read it, and you can see it says AS Rock Support DVD. Okay, now it says no drivers were found. Make sure that you it contains the drivers. Okay, I did this before. I think I did it on the, well, it might have been the 32-bit version. Rescan. No drivers were found. Okay, browse. AS Rock. This is an AMD 64, so I'll try that. You can still hit OK. 
no drivers are found. See, I did that before. So it doesn't matter. You should just be able to hit to the rear drive and it'll find what you need. But, okay, drivers. Let's try that. Nope, not found. Now, I do remember a little thing that was quite odd. Um, that's the driver's folder. Usually, you want to go to the root folder most of the time and it'll find you the right thing. Vista, Win 7. Okay, try that. No device drivers were found. Usually, you want to go to the root folder of your CD and it, and it has an IMF file at the beginning that will find what you need for you. But I accidentally, I wasn't thinking I left this in and rebooted the machine and it booted to this thing. It, I thought it wouldn't boot to it. I, I know I was thinking, I just thought, it won't, there's nothing to boot on there. <coughs> so, <coughs> it booted to it. And uh, I'm going to get out of it. And it should just reboot. <coughs> and I think it'll boot to that CD or DVD. I think it's a CD. <coughs> and I'll just show Intel instead of just trying to tell. But uh, all it had in there was saying, uh, here's your you know thing to install Windows 7 drivers. I mean, Windows XP drivers. This motherboard is is supposed to, you know, well, I went to Sardu. Okay, go to Tools. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, I know what I need to do. I already tried the blue. Well, Plop will probably do it. It'll do, it'll do, uh, I'm trying to boot the CD this time. So I'll just use that CD-ROM. No CD found. Well, that's weird. Okay, um... Why is there three hard drives mentioned up there? Floppy, USB, HDA. I just wanted to go to the CD, so I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, Control Alt Delete. Now hit F11, and I can see the CD. I thought this would be quick and simple. I forgot I had that Sardi USB stick in there. I'm hitting F11 to try to get to the uh, boot menu. Here we go. I actually still see all my drives, all my USB drives too. Okay, there it is. Boot to Fritos. Now then, select source. Generate RAID driver. XP 2000. Select source. Generate RAID driver for Windows XP, for Windows 2000, XP 64. Exit. Alright, now that made me think, what the heck is it? Only have XP drivers? But now I'm going, oh wait. This is just part of the boot menu, I think. So, 64 bit, why not? Uh oh. Generate RAID driver diskette. I was trying to generate, but I don't need a RAID driver anyway, so maybe this is just another feature that I don't need. RAID, uh, you know, RAID disk. That's like when you have several duplicate disks that you want to use for backup and stuff. Or anyway, I'm not going to go into all that because I don't. I know I know enough to kind of know what it does, but I couldn't explain it that well anyway. I've never messed with it. Just read about it. Yeah, destination. Yeah, that's gonna erase my, <laughs> my SD card. No, we don't want to do that. Reboot the system now. Press any key to continue. So what I'm gonna do is hard shut it down, and I don't want to do any of that. Well, no, I'll just reboot, get it into the Sardu menu, and then I'll shut down from there. So I don't know. I guess I could fish around fish around there but I, I, I can't see it not having the Windows 7 drivers on there but on top of all that when I got to reading on the easy to boot website it said that error about the missing drivers was actually just some about how this easy to boot does you know needs to needs to be set up to work and that's when I made the helper stick and all that stuff USB stick and so it's still doing the same thing after I did all that I don't want to fool with it anymore I don't even care if it works now uh, it will boot to I'm just going to show it right quick I think <sighs> keyboard's hitting my microphone okay so 
left the hard shut down. Well, I guess I didn't have to. I keep forgetting that you can pull those out, and it's actually the best thing to do. Now it won't recognize my... <coughs> It, it, I'm sure it won't recognize my, uh, it keeps hitting my mic right there, my keyboard. It won't recognize my, uh, SD card. What? Oh, you still have that in there. <sighs> I guess I'm tired. Okay, I'll get you out of here. If I can, it may not let me. It won't let me because it's still. See, when you're doing all this, you need to be able to. I need to be able to shove the keyboard back and forth. So I'll put that up there. Then it'll be kind of up in the way, but that's all right. Okay, now. Oh, my legs on my thing won't let me show that anyway. Getting getting a little bit flustered here. Okay. Uh, I'll hit F11, then I can select what I want to boot to, and, or at least I'll pause it, even if it doesn't see my SD card, and I'll kick that CD out of there. Okay. It doesn't see it. That's what I've sprayed. Uh, so, two things I'll do. I'm going to take this and put it in the other slot, and I'm going to get that CD out of there. Sometimes it can be very contrary. There. Okay. Now, hopefully a nice little reboot and we'll be seeing my SD card again. Sometimes it still doesn't do it. We'll see. Okay. Now, since there's only, let me see. Either way, it won't matter. I could have hit F11, but okay, it worked. It's booting to it. Yeah, that way, if it doesn't work, if it works, then you're good. If it doesn't work, then you you can. In this right now, the way this machine is, you can stop it uh, on the trying to repair the Windows boot, and then. Uh, okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Fedora. Not live security, but Fedora 24, the newest Fedora. Oh, here's that uh, prompt that I was expecting to see. And it'll go on by. I guess it does it on the Linux ISOs now. Okay. Boot to Fedora 24. And, um... May, this is what I may go ahead and install. And this will take a good while. Matter of fact, it's uh, 720 something in the evening and I'm getting tired. So I think I won't actually do it. So a bunch of errors though. Device not accepting. Address USB, but it did get on by it. Okay, I think it's gonna boot. For some reason it got, does that. I guess it, it launched the video X11 video driver, so it changed the uh, font size. That's generally the size that you see in an installed Fedora system. Now I can barely see the bars, the uh, control, the, uh, I can't think of what you call them, not address bars, but uh, anyway, they're not, it's not fitting the uh, screen just right, but uh, they're there, they're up at the top, they're, they're not completely showing up. Let's see, preferences, probably if I, Went to the setup of the video of the. Really, I think it would fix if I just did my monitor. I think it's the monitor. Let me just turn the monitor on and off. Sometimes that'll fix it. 
didn't that time. It could be the resolution. Might be set on the wrong resolution. Control, let's see. Displays, there it is. I was in there to start with. 1920 by 1080, that's right. Okay. So it's the monitor. I just need to. Uh, didn't it? Did I'd have to go in there to hit those buttons to make it uh, set right? So anyway, um, what I'll be doing is clicking on install the hard drive. I think I did this the other day just to see if it looked like it was going to work. Yeah, I did. I don't know if I did it in Fedora 24. Yeah, I think I did. But uh, I think it will work from this, you know, easy to boot. If not, I'll have to put this on. I'll have to just wipe the whole SD card and put it because my little SD, my little uh, sticks aren't big enough. There, they don't hold. This is bigger than two gig. It's two and a half, three and a half, something. I believe. Anyway, uh, I think it's, it would work. I don't know for sure till you get all the way down through the middle of it and find that it doesn't work, but everything looks good. So uh, pick your hard drive, which would be this one. I'll have to do a custom. I can hit uh, automatic, but uh, it won't um, automatic configure partitioning. But I know from experience with Fedora, it'll make too big of a root partition. And with only 28 gig, what I really need to do is just make it two partitions. One, the boot partition, and two, just the system and root, home and root partition all the same. And the Bane has got an option like that, but in here, in Fedora, you have to say, I will configure. And it kind of helps you along, but it didn't really. Can I go back? No, that wasn't the way I wanted to do it. Anyway, I'll probably say automatically and then then a then alter it. I think's what I've been doing. I hit done. Leave it on automatic and hit done. But uh, I've installed them before and thinking, oh, it'll figure it out. But it uh, I had like ended up with five gigabytes left for my home partition and wasn't even usable. So. And I see it says it's done, but and I want to always want to change the host name because if I leave it to localhost, then it'll conflict anytime you boot a uh, live system. So I always give my systems a host name. But uh, I guess now if I hit, I will do it. It might. Oh, that's add disk. That's what's going on there. I'm hitting the wrong thing. I'm going to look around my phone, so. Oh, I think if I hit done with it like that. Yeah, now it wants me to. Click here to create them automatically. You haven't created any amount points and all that stuff. Yeah, I was in here the other day, so I'm not going to do it now, I don't think. Um, since this video was all about to. Windows stuff. I'd rather start a new one for this anyway. Alright, this is done. Uh, this, I'll think about it a little longer. I, I, like I said, I'm tired. I don't think I want to do it today anyway, this evening. So I'll think about it and make sure that's what I want to do. Alright, bye.